Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It is time for empties. Uh, I don't know how this box got so full. I can't remember, it must have been a while. It's probably been a while since I've done an empties. Uh, so let's not waste any more time, let's crack into it. Uh, Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. I used this yesterday and I was like, hang on a minute. She's empty, that's my last use. Um, which means I'm almost out of face scrub, uh, but that's all right. I really like this product. If you've not used it before, it's essentially a powder exfoliant that you, you know, you get it wet in your hand and then you use it as a physical scrub, but also uh, it works as a chemical scrub. So you can put it on, you leave it on for a little while and then you can, you know, give it a little zhuzh around to get off any of the, you know, flaky bits and you get a like jewel face scrub. Really nice product, really enjoy it. Um, don't use it daily. That's my only advice. From Herbivore, I've got the Pink Cloud Creamy Jelly Cleanser. This wasn't too bad. I bought it in a holiday pack with a moisturizer. Ooh, like two years ago, I think. Um, the cleanser, I finished up. The moisturizer, I haven't. I didn't mind it. I probably wouldn't like, you know, I wouldn't be rushing out to buy it again, but it was fine. Like if I could get it on sale or something, I'd probably buy it, but it wasn't anything super special. Uh, just, it's just a cleanser. Oh, this, um, I didn't finish it. This is the Bioma. Moisturizing gel cream. So it's triceramide complex with niacinamide and green tea. It's supposed to help boost your barrier um, I used this when I had like a compromised barrier. It didn't do anything for me It's also definitely not hydrating enough uh, For someone like me. I Decided to use it as a body moisturizer just to finish it up and I actually added um, oh, I don't have any of it here. The Drunk Elephant, um, BHA, AHA, um, uh, serum in there because I really like to, like, give my body a treat. So, moisturizer with an acid in it. Um, it broke down to a liquid and I decided that mm -hmm, something, the two did not work together. So, um, that's going in the bin. Lush, very, very frightening shower gel. I don't like this one. I'm not a fan of the scent. Uh, it's not my favorite, like I can tolerate it, but the, uh, the dye, the yellow dye stains everything. Mostly just my exfoliating gloves, which I find annoying. So I wouldn't buy that one. These I actually opened today and I'm wearing them. They are the Mecha Max Fluttering Falsies on the DL. Um, so I, what I did was I cut them in half and I'm wearing like one pair. And I put the other one in here for future use. I like them because they have a clear band. And I mean, they're an okay size for me. I think... They're fine. Nothing, you know, I don't like huge lashes. I like a bit more of a subtle lash. So there's that. Uh, I've also got the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This stuff, mwah, it's so good. Very expensive. Um, but my God, it is absolutely beautiful. I used it along with this, the Dear Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. And this duo completely rescued my dry skin. Um, I would like to buy some more of this, but I would never buy it at full price because once you do like the currency conversion from US dollars to Australian dollars, this stuff gets really, really expensive. I would also say that I'm not a huge fan of the jar. I feel like I've been using a lot of things that are in jars lately and I'm just... I'm not vibing it. Sometimes I'm into it, like I'm okay with it. And you know, my hands are always clean before I'm getting in there, but like I can't do anything with these nails. So I have to use like little makeup spatulas and stuff. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But anyway, I love that. The jar wouldn't stop me from buying it, but yeah, that's just thoughts. Um, Declare's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. This is amazing. It's not actually an oil. First time I talked about this, um, some people said like, what 
is this like a light oil or a heavy oil it's not an oil um it has the consistency of like a thick water basically it's just beautifully hydrating and it does lovely things for my skin i actually picked up three bottles of this during black friday because i don't want to be without it now drunk elephant bestie number nine jelly cleanser this i just had it in my shower this little 60 ml sample lasted me months um, which was great and didn't take up much space i wouldn't buy this because it's like nothing special but if i ended up with another mini in like an advent calendar or something i totally use it i don't have a problem with it um it's just you know for the price i'm not i'm not gonna buy it uh shuamora this is the ultimate cleansing oil this is probably my favorite from shuamora it is um i believe it's designed for more mature skin and also like hydration so that's kind of a fave of mine there are other shuamora cleansing oils that are designed more for oily skin and i think when if you like really really have dry skin uh you can notice the difference using them i always was kind of on the fence that like they're all the same but um now i am definitely off the fence and i'm in the the pasture of no they are different and once you find the one for your skin you notice the difference devoness oi shampoo um i still have the hair mask in my shower or the conditioner in my shower at the moment i really i love that i would say that the oi range like if I use the shampoo and the conditioner, or I'm not sure if it's a hair mask, I'm pretty sure it's a conditioner. If I use them together for multiple washes in a row, it gets a little bit heavy for me. So I have to sort of balance things out. But when my hair is dry and upset, this duo is a lifesaver and I love it. Um, I have some more Davines items. I've got the Renaissance Circle and the Purity Circle. So the Purity Circle is meant to help with like pollution and stuff in the hair. This one has um, bamboo charcoal in it. Not my fave. Not my fave for the scent and also like what it does to my hair. I just don't really feel like I need it. The Renaissance Circle is, it's called the Hopeless Hair Extreme Repair Mask. This one has yellow clay in it. I feel like this one does more for me, but over the time of using these, I have decided that the moisturizing one is my absolute fave. And I think that's probably what my hair craves the most, moisture. It likes the moisture. Here's something that I loved so much that I cut it open. It's from Bath and Body Works. It is the Strawberry Pound Cake Body Cream. Mm, my God, I love the scent of this. It was so, so nice. Also, I did the thing that I did with this where I put um, an acid in it to make it like, you know, an exfoliating body moisturizer didn't change the consistency it was beautiful loved it i would 100 percent buy more of these in the future and like next time i see bath and body works with a sale on i'm probably gonna you know have some fun oh look you'll all be so happy i finished it it's my solly notes uh cherry blossom perfume it was in my project pan last year i didn't quite get there um, if you want like if you want to know how much I used up it was there and I finished it up um, again just using it mostly as like a room spray I did use it on myself a couple of times to really like pump up the usage um, but I actually finished that one a little bit um, like late in January Walida skin food this is the body lotion version um, I do like this it's very very rich um, really good if you have very dry body skin I just find it so difficult to get out of the bottle there is some still in there I can feel it it's like 
up the top here so once I got sick of like trying to squeeze it out and you know getting those sort of like spluttery <laughs> squirts whenever I squeezed it out I just called it quits because I just don't don't have time I do have time I just don't want to waste it on that um, from Mecca Cosmetica this is their hand cream it's a nourishing hand cream I don't love this this one's pretty old I don't know if they've like updated their formula or something they very well could have um, but it's not something that I would buy um, it's not not even that I wouldn't buy it because I'm not like a huge fan of the formula I'd just be more inclined like if I'm gonna buy a hand cream I'm gonna try and buy something fun like the Tony Moly like banana hand cream um, I'm not gonna buy this especially when Mecca like give this sort of thing as like a birthday gift or something it's yeah I think you get it um, Eco by Sonia Driver. This is the Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. I actually kind of wish that I had this again. It's a salt scrub that is in kind of like a balmy consistency and you just, you know, rub it all over your body. And then when you get under the shower, it emulsifies and washes away. It's really, really nice. It's got a great scent as well. Okay, let's do this one. This is from the Inky List. It's a polyglutamic acid. I didn't like this. Um, it's supposed to help lock in moisture and when I was using this I was like I feel like this is not doing anything for me So I did some research on like the differences between polyglutamic acid and Hyaluronic acid because people were telling me that this is actually better than hyaluronic acid and it can like hydrate more whereas I felt like this wasn't hydrating at all um, and from what I learned, polyglutamic acid um, can, like, it doesn't rely on moisture from other sources to work to its best ability, whereas hyaluronic acid does. And that actually made me think that either my skin doesn't really care for polyglutamic acid or that the like formula that they're using is just not really that great which look i'm not trying to talk shit about the inky list i'm sure they have some fantastic products i can only speak on my experience with this because this is quite an affordable brand my guess is going to be that they're not using like top notch uh formulas or quality of ingredient potentially and um my skin just needs more which i mean it would make sense i'm nearly 40 and i have dry as fuck skin uh fourth ray this is a fresh af energizing mist it was fine i don't like i didn't love it it's not something i'd buy again i got it as a little pr sample ten thousand years ago and i finished it up i have is there only one mm -hmm. Uh, Daiso Puff and Sponge. Love this stuff. I am running low, but I know where to go when I'm ready to get more. Let's do some makeup. Uh, Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Powder. I'm struggling to remember um, what I thought of this. I think I quite liked it under the eyes. Um, at the moment, I'm using the KVD Locket Blotting Powder, and that's like the only thing that I care about right now. Um, I wouldn't buy the Shiseido one again. Milani, this is a highly rated anti-gravity mascara. I love this. I use this for way, way, way too long. And I only put it into my empties recently because I was like, you have to. You have to do it. You've got to move on with your life. This is fantastic. Go and get it. It's just try it. Just go and try it. I'll show you the wand in case you like hate this type of wand. Then I don't want to upset you. Um, it's an hourglass. It is a rubber wand. So you can see it's got lots of movement, which means it can be a little bit pokey if you're not careful. But I just, I loved what it did for my lashes. It was so nice. And I'd probably buy it again, but I've got a boatload of mascaras to get through. This one is a Hindash Hero Line liner. Um, again, like I have one of these. I might even have two of them. Um, but I just 
like I just used this for so 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 long like it just lasted and lasted it is a brush applicator which I absolutely love I do have a little like hair that's sort of bent over that was another thing that made me be like just move on with your life you have backups you also have 50 million pen eyeliners start using them just do it okay I've got another hair item this is the Nunu hair mask from Davinis so it's a nourishing repairing mask for highly processed hair um, I don't mind this one I think the reason why I don't love 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 it is probably because it contains proteins my hair I just don't really like get along too well with uh, protein hair treatments I'm using one at the moment and I didn't realize it was a protein hair treatment and it's a sample in my project pan so I was like yeah I'm gonna finish this up it's gonna be great um, and my hair just started to feel worse and worse and worse and I'm like I'm pretty sure there's a protein buildup uh, so it's not my fave I prefer to just use hydration um, I feel like that's what my hair responds best to so the, the Nunu has never been my absolute favorite I think it's the Momo that I use I've got like big one liter salon bottles of it um, is it Momo? Minu it's the Minu um, yeah I love the Minu range that's like my fave oh and obviously oi and uh, like there's even more in the natural tech range that I really love as well okay some more big things kind of um, pixie glow tonic I don't love it not not a huge fan um, I just feel like my skin needs a bit more now um, and also oh, it's just it's got to be the right combination of products basically anyway I finished up two of these last year and by the time I'd gotten halfway through the first bottle I was like this is no longer a product that's working for me so I finished up what I had and I won't be buying that one again unfortunately um, I have the clean apothecary brush shampoo in rose I got this in a Beautylish Lucky bag like years years ago and I I ended up getting I think two in a row so I got one one year and I got one another year this one just finished it up it took forever that is along with using other products obviously like the Daiso puff and sponge you guys you guys know that's been my go-to for years so there's that youth to the people adaptogen deep moisture cream this was all right um look it's kind of it's hard for me to judge moisturizers these days i'm not gonna lie actually no it's not here we go i'm just gonna say it it's not that moisturizing if you have like average dry skin you might be fine you might you might get along quite well with this if you have super mega dry skin this isn't even going to touch the sides even if you're using other supportive hydrating products this is only just going to be okay um, I also had a lot of people tell me that it broke them out horribly it didn't do that for me um, so yeah I wouldn't buy it again I'm just going to put it out there now that I've said that I'm going to talk about some other moisturizers that I think I'm going to become a moisturizer snob and let me explain why I've got two little Elemis minis here um, I've got the pro collagen oxygen oxygenating night cream and I have the pro collagen marine cream SPF 30 so I made an Elemis order during singles day and you got all of these gift with purchases like little minis and I've been using them and fucking loving them um, I think what I need to do is become a bit of a moisturizer snob and I need to start looking at these more expensive higher end brands that are potentially using better ingredients because like stuff like this doesn't cut it this super expensive works a dream these super expensive works a dream this not even like nothing it does absolutely nothing for me I don't know if it's to do with like my my age that probably pays plays a, a role in it 
um, or being on isotretinoin, but my skin has never been the same after being on that medication. And I feel like my skin just requires more attention. Buying like affordable skincare that definitely doesn't break the bank and I can buy multiple of them to test them out. They just don't, they don't do anything for me. I'm not getting anything out of it. But if I'm dropping 50 bucks on a serum that actually works for me, I'm getting so, so much more out of it. My skin feels good. I feel good. Everything is, you know, working harmoniously and I don't have five shitty products that do nothing for me but i do have one good product that does everything for me so i feel like i am i'm going to become that person and i always think that there are definitely affordable products out there that are really good but if you're struggling with skin con concerns like dryness or excessive oiliness or acne or like sensitivity or anything like that something that makes your skin feel physically uncomfortable and can sometimes even go so far as to actually like cause pain and make you not want to leave the house it can be really disheartening to buy a whole bunch of products and have them do nothing for you so when i'm finding products that are more expensive and you know definitely not budget friendly I kind of don't even care anymore because I just want stuff that works and I'm willing to like spend the money on it. So Elemis, fuck yeah. I will most likely buy more of their moisturizers in the future. I like their normal uh, collagen marine cream. I like their SPF 31 and I liked their nighttime one as well. They were all amazing. And sure, I probably wouldn't buy them at full retail price but if they're on sale like they'll see me coming because i'm getting some this looks very confusing it's the kate somerville exfolicate daily foaming wash this isn't bad but i don't love it this is one of those situations where i'd say not all luxury skincare is built the same <laughs> because um kate somerville is probably one of those brands that i wouldn't really bother spending money on i've tried quite a few products from the range and while i like them so you know if i get them as a little mini or a sample i'll use them but i wouldn't run out and spend my money on them elements i would here we go there's another one shantakai these are the gold energizing eye recovery masks i expected a lot from these i at least expected the like super super fine lines under my eyes to be smoothed not permanently but temporarily i was thinking i should get at least three or four hours of smoothness before they start to dehydrate again no no i did not so i would never buy them again um they it did hydrate the skin around my eyes but not like there was nothing this i just don't I'm not going to spend money on something like that from a luxury brand unless it gives me results. So I'm glad I got it as a free sample to try because now I know. This is from Neod. It's the Copper Amino Isolate Lipid 1%. I love Copper Amino Isolate products. I've used quite a few. Um, I would definitely say my favorite has actually been from Neod. Uh, the liquid one was actually my favorite. This one, it is kind of like, it comes out a bit like a gel. And then when you like rub it over your face, it's a little bit like a balmy, like a thin balm. Um, you're supposed to use it on its own without any other skincare products. You can use other skincare products, but for the best ben benefits, you're supposed to use it on its own. Um, I, I like it, but again, my skin is just too dry and I found it really difficult to just use it on its own. So I used it with um, other products, but I have gone back to using a topical retinol. So uh, I don't feel like I have a place for this in my routine at the moment, but I do like it. I like it very much. From Laneige, I have the Lip Glowy Balm. This is in Pear. I really like this i don't feel like it's as good as like the pot like the overnight sleeping mask uh but 
as a like day to day pop it in your handbag kind of deal it is good um and because it has like the you know the squeezy tube which makes it really easy to use and last uh i have I was gonna say last but not least it's definitely least um, I have some perfume samples so I've got two from Goldfields and Banks that I finished up I've got Desert Rosewood and Blue Cypress I think I didn't mind Blue Cypress did I oh yeah this Blue Cypress smells like uh, Aqua de Gel by Giorgio Armani is it I think so um, but slightly different almost like I think it's got like more minty scent to it it's kind of like if aqua de gel and um, toothpaste had a baby that's what this is I've also got wild vanilla orchid from floral street and then I have some that I'm throwing away I've got this one here but I've got more these ones were in uh, my project pan and like I'm getting rid of them so I've got a whole bunch from Floral Street like Black Lotus uh, London Poppy what do we got Cypher Sublime uh, Neon Rose and Iris Goddess just not a fan I also have two more here from Goldfield and Banks I look I would say don't if you ever see an ad for this Goldfields Goldfield and Banks sampler don't go there just don't they are so expensive for what they are and they're not that great I think the only interesting one is blue cypress because it smells like aqua de gel and toothpaste I had a baby I'm not kidding I've got wood infusion here I just I've got to smell it just one more time I feel like maybe they're trying to like mimic uh, by the fireside by oh god what's that brand replica and then I've got white sandalwood this is fun it smells like soap like it makes me think of palm olive gold soap man I that that sampler mega disappointment I'm gonna wrap that up there guys I do hope you enjoyed it if you have tried any of the goldfield and banks fragrances let me know what your favorite and least favorite is in the comments and why or if you just have anything to say about them at all and you want to get it off your chest do it because this is a safe space to do that I want to say a massive thank you to my channel members and to all of you for joining me today I'm gonna to go now because this room stinks it smells like palm olive gold soap and knock off by the fireside perfume I'm not I'm not digging it all right guys I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.